Just a few moments ago, the state rested their case against Corey Beatty. This after the victim, who the former Vandy football player allegedly assaulted, took the witness stand and gave an emotional account of what happened to her back in 2013. Our Chris Conti is live now outside the courtroom. And Chris, this was the first time the victim was there this week. And Vicki, as she walked into the courtroom behind me here, the first thing she started to do was cry. The weight of this entire ordeal was clearly evident on the 24-year-old's face. As she walked into the courtroom for the first time this week, the young woman then walked to the front of 5A with every set of eyes in the room fixated upon her. And just a few feet away sat the man who authorities say raped her, Corey Beatty. She doesn't remember much from the night of the alleged assault. The last thing she says she can recall is being handed a blue drink by co-defendant Brandon Vandenberg at Tin Roof. The entire courtroom was silent as she was shown pictures of herself lying unconscious on a dorm room floor. Have you seen all of them? I've only seen a little bit of it. I, I looked one time. I'm going to hand you a photograph. It is previously entered Exhibit 30K. Do you recognize what's in that photo? <laughs> it's me. It's me. <laughs> Her testimony lasted for an hour and 13 minutes. The biggest question of the day, will Corey Beatty take the stand in his own defense? We're live at the courthouse downtown, Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Live gavel to gavel coverage continues on News Channel 5 Plus, and we're streaming it on the web at newschannel5.com. You can also follow along on social media using the hashtag VandyRetrial.